<clears throat> Hi Sagittarius, welcome. This is your reading. <laughs> We're not gonna call it anything. <clears throat> I do intend for these readings to be quick. They are timeless. They can resonate with your past, present, future. Um, or a mixture of all three because time is fluid. The energy is the energy and we all just work through it differently. Um, so check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for extra insight or advice or just to get a different angle of your story. You may also check Mercury and Mars signs if you feel inclined to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start your reading because like I said, I do intend for these readings to be quick. I'm not going to get into the transits, but there are quite a few transits coming and happening. And then we have our... Um, Full moon eclipse, July 4th, 5th, something like that, that weekend, uh, depending on where you are in the world. I have to look and see what time it is, and I'll probably do a video on that separately later in the future. Um, I may not, though, because July is very, very, very busy for me. But we're going to start this with uh, the Quantum Oracle deck, and we'll pull crystals also, and then we'll just look into it with tarot cards and see what the details are about um, what's going on in your life, what your guys need you to be prepared for or aware of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right, so let's see what are the messages for Sagittarians. Transformation. Any other messages for Sagittarians? Thank you. Ooh, I like that. New beginnings. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Angel of Four Directions. I'm gonna keep this out. I may read it, but I don't think I'm gonna pull any clarity cards on it. We'll just see. Cause I don't want this to be super long. All right, so we have transformation cycle. It's a cycle card, number five. Then we have the first card of cycles and new beginnings and four of spirits. Um, angels of the four directions, I guess meaning Northwest, East and South. Um, <clears throat> What am I doing? I'm like, what? I just went blank for a second. Okay, let's look at transformation for uh, five of cycle. See what this transformation is about. This is um, <clears throat> this particular deck has different suits, and in this particular suit, this is the only one with only five cards. The rest have seven, seven, eight. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, significant transition. I definitely think Sagittarians are the North Node is in Gemini, so the South Node is in Sagittarius. So I definitely think there's a lot of shifting, moving on from old ways, old patterns, like shedding your skin and transformation, just newness, coming into something new. So I love that these two cards came out together. This is the end. This is representing the ending of something in the beginning of something else with this cycle card. It's the, you see how the cycle deck, the cycle suit did a cycle from one to five back to one i, I just i'd be seeing the synchronicities i don't know if y'all be seeing it i have to break it down sometimes anyway this card shows a woman getting ready to cross a bridge and move on and uh, move into a light i'm sorry a new light field adventure <clears throat> in a rolled up scroll she carries all the wisdom she needs to move forward this fortuitous card reveals a time of great inner and possible possibly outer sorry this is too loud possibly outer transition you are now in a place where you are more you are capable of transforming your old life into something brand new unhealthy patterns of thought and behavior are now ready to shift into a much higher resonance of peaceful non-judgmental non energy for some people this is no less than an opportunity to reinvent reinvent themselves as a result this card is putting you on notice that you are powerful you are a powerful manifester your inner changes n now will leap Phenomenal results now will reap phenomenal results in the near and distant future. So spend some time going inward, consciously choosing optimism, trust, and self-love. As you make these changes, you will see your outer life transform as well. Perhaps a new relationship or a bigger, better career is on, uh, or a bigger, better, I'm sorry, bigger and better career move is on the horizon. Visualize these outer these great outer results as you continue to work on your inner transition of consciousness and vibration. When you do, you will find this cycle moving on to one of great expansion. <clears throat> I definitely think um, 
Oh, there's an affirmation here. I didn't read it for the last one. I'm capable of great inner change. I transform my life by transforming my thoughts and perceptions. I'm always free to choose. Absolutely. And you can change whenever you want to. Um, that's the beautiful thing about the human experience. Um, so, let's look at new beginnings. <coughs> the start of something big. This is beautiful, Sagittarius. A baby laughs in a bed of spring flowers and the sun shines through an arbor of, uh, li of lilacs. This card marks the approach of something wonderful and new in your life. This is the beginning. This new beginning may indicate the end of something else, as as in the case of leaving a job to start a new one, or it can mean adding a new endeavor to your present life experience, such as a new baby or blossoming relationship where once there was nothing. So get ready for something exciting on the horizon maybe you've been planning it and taking steps to make it happen or perhaps you've been satisfied with the status quo and not considering a change of any kind even if that's the case sorry about that um obviously it wasn't me but still people um let's see let's see let's see even if that's the case keep your eyes and heart open for an opportunity to start something new whether you're engaging as a creative uh, as a creative hobby or beginning a spiritual practice, the energy bodes well for great value coming through this new beginning. So I definitely think you are either learning to embrace this transition or like starting to look forward to it or just kind of getting to go with the flow. You are mutable fire. So, <clears throat> right? Aries is cardinal. Leo is fixed. Yeah. I'm like, wait, I have to think about it. Okay, yeah. you are mutable fire, so I think you are learning how to just co go with the flow and adapt to changes and transformations. Also, with the with the Sagittarius being in uh, with Sagittarius or with so the South Node being in Sagittarius, <laughs> um, you could be like I said, moving away from old, outdated patterns or just habits that you had that you realize like, okay, I do this every day and it's cool, it's not really harmful, but I could replace this with doing something that is bringing more abundance or love into my life. So you could just be making small transitions like that. Let's look at spirit. I definitely just think this is spirit. Um, that's why this is another reason why I don't want to clarify this because I feel like it is spirit assisting you and giving you confirmation, giving you the things that you need. I don't think there's any thing to clarify about that just yet anyway. We'll see. But, <clears throat> all right. Uriel, Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel. Yes, yeah, so this is the Archangel. Sorry. Well, I'm sure it has something to do with direction, too, as well. Anyway, upright. The light of an angel reaches out in every direction. Upright or reverse. This, is an, this indicates a powerful connection taking place in this time. at this time. The upright position reveals a dy dynamic presence of Archangels Uriel and Raphael. Uriel, the angel of the north, is a source of, of immensely valuable inspiration. If you're working on a creative project or you just need some new ideas on some old ideas, Uriel is ready and help, uh, willing to help. This angel connects you to the universal energy and the Akashic information that exists all around you. <coughs> Excuse me. So call on Uriel to leave any dark confusion behind and bring the insight you require at this time. This fire... This fire of God will certainly um, light up your life. The next messenger of um, in this upright card is Raphael, the Archangel of the East. This wonderful angel supports you with matters of love, healing, children, and relationships. So invite his presence to help resolve your love and relationship issues to bring the physical healing you desire. This energy of Oh, the energy of this angel is so powerful. He is often called the miracle worker. Miracle worker. When you receive this card upright, you know that it's time to open your heart and your life to Raphael's loving assistance. The miracle you seek is closer than you think. This is good stuff. There's an affirmation here as well. I invite the power of the wonderful and wonderful energy of insert your angel's name i ask for help healing concerning name your issues and i give thanks all right so that's what we got transformation new beginnings and assistance from uriel and Raphael. 
and what whichever angels you need assistance for from I mean uh, I think I do want to go ahead and read very briefly what the reverse <clears throat> Assistance would be Archangel Michael, the, um, the Archangel of the South, can touch your life with strength and stability. You may be experiencing a situation in which you've been feeling a loss of power, but now is the time to turn it around. Call on Michael to help you with, help you deal with any feelings of insecurity, whether physical, personal, or financial. This is a time of major shift. Believe in yourself and take action on your own behalf. Michael will infuse you with the strength you need to, to rise. This card reverse also brings... Gabriel, the Archangel of the West, um, he is an angel of communication. He can be of assistance in communication projects and career. He can help you change your self-talk, engage in the optimistic self-honoring language that you know you deserve. Gabriel will help you make your self-loving language a reality. Um, he can also empower you to speak up to others if you have the habit of shutting down or even if there's just something you, you need to express, now's the time to open up. Sometimes Michael and Gabriel join together to assist in this endeavor. Michael brings the courage and Gabriel brings the word. So get ready. It's time to speak your truth. I don't think you need any help with that. Unless you, uh, like, you have Sagittarius sun and you have, like, your chart is dominated by some other water sign or earth or air sign or something. Like, mm, maybe earth. But Sagittarians are typically good for speaking their mind and speaking their truth. So... We'll just go with Yuri and Raphael on that, okay? So you have support from the angels. Let's look into, oh, wait, I'm jumping ahead. Let's get crystals for you. Are there any crystals that will assist Sagittarian? Any crystals for Sagittarians <clears throat> to assist with this transition and these new beginnings. Any crystals for Sagittarians? Hmm. So we got mold device. Any other crystals? Oh wow. Any other crystals for Sagittarians? Alright, okay. I think this was one that came up, but I was like, I don't want to do four. That's excessive. So, all right, we have Moldavite. <clears throat> Let me show you how to spell it first. Moldavite, M-O-L-D-A-V-I-T-E. I don't know why I spelled it out. You can clearly see this. Unless you're blind, in which case, I'm sorry. And I'm glad that I decided to spell it out. Okay. I'm, like, really super Sagittarian right now. What's up with that? Anyway, this is what the crystal look like. looks like. It's a very beautiful, almost glass-like uh, oh, it does say glassy. Perfect. Okay, I'm not tripping. Oh. I'm just going to read. What it is, Moldavite is a glassy to pale dark green tech type formed by a meteorite impact, impact around 15 million years ago in what is now Germany. It's trippy as fuck. And it's expensive. <laughs> okay, who needs it? Spiritual seekers, extraterrestrial trapped in the human bodies extraterrestrials trapped in human bodies ayahuasca enthusiasts aquarians where to put it in the middle of your forehead during meditation alters alien landing sites when to use it when you feel too grounded or disconnected from spirit moldavite is all about operating at a higher frequency when you are looking for more wow and whoa in your life on on the meditation cushion and beyond explode your perceptions with moldavite transform your life on earth all right, transformation. You transforming your life on earth, ain't you? For real though. And then we have Malachite, which is a very great stone for wealth and abundance. So you may be trying to attract some type of wealth. It could be some really, really big blessings on the brink of being birthed into your life. All right, what it is, it's with its trademark acid trip. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you. I feel like I had somebody say, wait, you ain't show us this crystal yet. Sorry. My bad. This is Malachite. And I have a Malachite, so I can show you mine. I'll pull it out. With its trademark acid trip swirls, Money Green Malachite is an electrifying mesmerizer with a high copper content, always good for moving energy and making things happen. Who needs it? The overflowing in creativity, but lacking in follow-through. The all business, all the time 
set. The yeah, the all business all the time set. <clears throat> Where to put it if you're trading cryptocurrency, writing television pilots are starting up the next giant, oh, the, ne the next tech giant, Tricep Malachite, in your workspace. When to use it? When the concrete jungle has you disconnected from earth, from the earth beneath it. When you've just, when you've just got to have the money, the power, and all the glory, come, come at it with heart forward, sustainable energy courtesy of malachi claim your success i love that yes let me show you my malachi i just got this one too i've been wanting one for a very long time and i was out recently and i got one so this is my malachi i definitely plan to get more bigger ones but they are pretty expensive so that's malachi and then we have jet That's what this looks like. This is very cool looking too. The the quality of the picture on this video does not really do it justice. But then again, this is my front camera, so ugh. what it is, earthy and grounding. This true black mineraloid variety of coal is an ancient fossilized driftwood. Who needs it? Empaths, witchy types. Where to put it to clear the physical space or your body of in a uninvited vibes swipe over the jet i'm sorry swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energy spirits intentions to peace out when to use it when asking for guidance from elsewhere think seance guided meditation hardcore tarot session <laughs> jet can take off the edge of high vibe stones like moldavite and serpentine moldavite uh, can take up the take the edge off of high vibe stones like moldavite and serpentine as and is a wise old friend to bring as your plus one wherever you wherever your triggers are sure to be on the guest list claim your space yeah and i think this is just like making way for where you want to be and making way for it to be a peaceful transition so again we have moldavite malachite and jet that's what they look like and again moldavite malachite m-a-l-a-c-h-i-t-e jet j-e-t all right <clears throat> all right let's see what these crystals are all about for you let's look at transformation let's see what the trans transformation is all about What's transforming for Sagittarians? What is transforming? Oh, definitely transitioning, moving on from something, moving into calmer waters. I feel like whatever is taking place in your life is going to bring more peace. Even if you already have peace, you're going to have even more of it now. Oh, my sage just fell. Queen of Swords and clarity. I feel like this is new perception, clarity for sure. Um, truth and I feel like I feel like more than anything it's like just clear like very clear vision and um clear communication anything else for transformation what else is transforming for sagittarians this could be your thought process your creative process we have the four of cups yeah okay you could be in a place right now where you feel bored like you feel like things are dull and just uninteresting you could just be feeling uninspired um even maybe like borderline depressed but i feel like this transition is going to give you something to get excited about you may be a little bit skeptical with the queen of swords being here like hold on and like keeping your eyes sharp but it feels like um you looking at it in a logical way let's go ahead and clarify because i'm like it's it's funny it's funny All right, Six of Swords, please. Show me the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, please. Thank you. Temperance. Yeah, I think you're wanting more peace, more balance, more serenity in your life. Whatever you're moving on from and whoever you're moving on with, um, I feel like it's solid. Whatever you got, whoever you're with in this transition or whoever you're going through this transitional period with i feel like they're very important to you and they're they're like you're taking them with you if 
And if not, that's you in spirit. You know what I'm saying? We have your card here, uh, Sagittarius, Temperance here. So I feel like you you want to be you want to feel more whole. You want you want more peace. You want freedom. You want serenity. You want balance. Um, and I think spirit is assisting you here because this can also represent some divine intervention. Ooh, you definitely are moving towards abundance and balance and peace with the Empress being here. This represents divine feminine energy. It's, it's all the queens combined. It's Venus energy. It's love. It's abundance. It's the birth of something. It's creation. Um, fertility, creativity, and resources. Anything else for the Six of Swords? Okay, so ace of cups yeah i think you're moving on to love you could be moving on to a relationship you could be transitioning this could be a baby this could be the birth of something um in the physical but something that is beautiful and that brings a lot of love and abundance into your life you could be moving on towards that and whether you know it or not show me the queen of swords i feel like you're slightly skeptical uh something that's being offered to you the ace of swords yeah it's like you're you're wanting the truth you're wanting clarity you're wanting peace of mind this could also be a breakthrough in the mental space you could be doing some brainstorming but i feel like you're asking you're the one asking the questions asking for the clarity asking for the truth show me queen of swords and it's like no bullshit give it to me straight show me the queen of swords please Eight of Pentacles. You're, it's like you're inspecting something. You're looking at something very, very carefully, working very hard at something, very dedicated to something. Either your transformation, your transition, or to getting the truth. Working very hard to get the truth, to get clarity. Is how this feels with the Eight of Pentacles. Anything else for the Queen of Swords? Very dedicated, very working. I mean, you're patient. You're taking your time, but it's like at the same time, it's like, take your time, but hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Show me more about the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. You want the truth. You want a new beginning. You want a solid new beginning. You want something that's solid in general. You want something reliable. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, this could represent an opportunity like something tangible it can also represent hope health good fortune abundance it's just like you want the truth you want all of it you want you want you want to advance advance in something you want something to grow and you're working very hard you're very dedicated very focused you could be spending a lot of time working at something. With the Eight of Pentacles being here, you're, yeah, you're very, very focused and you're paying attention to all the details. You could be learning a lot in the process. Um, it, yeah, it does feel a bit like a work in progress. And it also feels like a project that is nearing some type of end. Um... I feel like there's maybe you're not complete with this project and something new is coming coming up but I feel like you're paying very close attention to detail not missing a thing like you can't get nothing by this Queen of Swords and you are like wait a minute what is this is this can I use this is this you know is this is this um, is this a resource you know is this something that I need or is it in my way uh, or something like that. You know, we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's a lot of new, new shit coming in. And you've been working very hard. You've been very dedicated. And you're not, you're paying attention to everything. It's like you're not missing anything important. I don't think you are. Um, so let's look at the Four of, Four of Cups. Show me the Four of Cups, please. like maybe you're looking you're seeing opportunities for newness you're not missing any opportunities with the eight of swords you could be feeling a little bit closed-minded about something something that's being offered to you something you're being approached with or like i said something that's just 
an opportunity. You may not see it as an opportunity. You you may have you may be a little bit closed minded about it, or you may have some fears or anxiety regarding accepting this offer, whatever it is. You may not see it for the opportunity that it is. Show me more about this Four of Cups. The King of Cups. It could be someone professing their love to you. It could be someone who has a lot of love to give very generous and emotionally stable. Show me more about the Four of Cups. I mean, it is a cup being offered to you. Who is this person offering this cup? Who's offering this? Thank you. Okay, so there could be some fear of loss here that you're not addressing with the Five of Pentacles coming out. Um, or it could be something that you feel like you lost or that you did lose before. It could be um, offered to you. It could, I think, I think it's just a fear of being neglected, being uh, left out, feeling stuck in the cold. There's something that you, uh, yeah, I think that's what this Eight of Swords is about, what the fears are about. Maybe why you're being a little closed-minded about this. Or you could be overreacting to something, but I feel like it's due to a fear of loss. I feel like someone wants to offer you something, maybe give you love. Show me more about the Four of Cups. Who's the other person? Oh, we have the Six of Swords and the Magician. I didn't even see the Six of Swords pop out. So again, moving on from something. Um, maybe it's going to require for you to move on from a relationship that you're already in or a situation that you're already in, a contract or something like that. It may require you to actually pick up and move um, so that you can create and manifest what you desire but all of the tools that you need are at your disposal. The Six of Swords, though, does show like moving on, transition, but maybe you have to move on alone this time. Maybe you have to take this, take this step on your own, make this change on your own. But the Magician is here, so it does represent, it's like moving, maybe you're moving to another job where you have more resources, you have the ability to be more creative, where you can get more done. All right, let's move on from that. Um, let's look at new beginnings. I feel like I'm missing something about this Four of Cups, though. Who's um, What's being offered to Sagittarius? What is being offered? What is being offered to Sagittarius with the Four of Cups? Thank you. Ten of Wands. You may be feeling like it's going to be a burden. It's going to be too much responsibility. Um, anything else for what's being offered? The Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, some of you may be getting offered something that is not good for you, and that's maybe why you're ignoring it. Maybe your, your gut is telling you no. And maybe that's what you're, maybe that's what you're moving on from, whatever's being offered to you. Um... I feel like somebody definitely is being closed-minded, whether that's you or someone else in the picture. This could be someone trying to offer you something to keep you around because they fear losing you. And that could be where the closed-mindedness and the fear of loss is coming in or the fear of neglect. It could actually be something that ends up creating more responsibilities for you, more stress for you, an oppressing or oppressive situation that you just want peace of mind from, that you want to take a break from, that you want to escape from. I think you may be spending a lot of time alone just trying to relax find peace and just rest you may need a vacation from work that could be what this is about as well so maybe you are being offered some type of vacation or some type of out let's look at new beginnings <clears throat> show me new beginnings for Sagittarians show me new beginnings please New beginnings, please. Thank you. All right, so we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. Ooh. Anything else for new beginnings? Feels like not seeing something through, not seeing something through to the end. Three of Wands. Hmm. Ooh, okay. 
All right. So with the three of wands in the reverse, this can represent having unrealistic expectations. Um, not like being a little bit in denial not being on one accord with your partners or the people around you that you work with um, can also represent conflicting spiritual views but it could also just be like sitting around waiting for something to fall into your lap instead of actually putting action towards it and we have the queen of wands I do feel like this represents your creativity and your enthusiasm your femininity, your creativity, I said, I think I said creativity, exuberance, like your ability to express yourself. Maybe this is in the realm of you expressing yourself with the Queen of Wands being here. It can be definitely a fire sign. Um, it could be someone very affectionate. Maybe you are very affectionate, um, very talented, I think, very outgoing. You love fun. Um, you could be very popular and attractive. And if this isn't you, this is someone around you. It could be someone who's used to things just kind of falling into their lap. But with the three of wands, I feel like there's some bit of being unrealistic here. And then with the hermit card reversed, there is a need to rest and recover or spend some time within or go within or meditate or seek higher knowledge or learning or research something. And it's like someone is either refusing to do that or... Um, just resisting it not wanting to be alone or it makes them feel like um it makes them feel abandoned or isolated maybe you feel like you can't do what you need to do by yourself you need someone to help you that could be why um the three of wands is in reverse maybe this is something again we have this the six of swords there's two people in this one and then there's one where did the other one there's one person in this one so maybe this is something you need to do on your own something you need to create on your own and you're looking for other people to assist you or help you you feel lonely and you're seeking out friends and it's like you're expecting to get something with a group of people that's only meant for you to get on your own and I think that's where the three of wands reverses that unrealistic expectations are coming from. It's like you're expecting this whole team to be able to get you there. And it's like, no, it's not meant for the whole team. It's meant for you. Maybe you feel lonely or isolated. That could be what this five of pentacles is about. Like you feel out in the cold. You feel neglected. You feel rejected. You feel, um, yeah, the four of cups can represent some type of rejection as well. And instead of you seeing something, yes, yeah, maybe that's okay. I got it. I got it. You feel rejected by something. Maybe you offered your love to someone and they didn't take it. So you feel rejected and that's where the closed mindedness is coming in. You're not seeing it um, as, an, as an opportunity to move on and go create elsewhere. Instead, you're probably bringing on more burdens for yourself and instead of just taking taking a break and moving on. You have a lot of love to give so it's like you can go be generous elsewhere you don't have to continue to give to a situation that's not giving back to you let's go ahead and clarify i was not supposed to use this deck let's, um show me the three of wands reverse oh my Ooh, okay we have the two of cups reverse so i feel like this is imbalanced relationships could be a breakup of partnership or friendship or something like that i think it is re uh, relating to your relationships you could be desiring for you have unrealistic expectations either within a relationship that's either not good for you not meant for you i don't it doesn't have to be romantic it could be any kind of relationship but it's not good for you it's imbalanced it's not fulfilling there's a lack of commitment there could be betrayal of commitment i don't think that that's the case i just feel like there's a lack of balance either you're not equal you know, you're on two different levels. Um, you're two, two different frequencies, two different vibrations, and you're you you could be expecting things to work out just fine because you don't want to feel lonely. Show me the three of wands reverse. Oh, this is too many. Three of wands reverse, please. Oh, why so many?
Yeah, I think you are still trying to continue to plan things out. To, to Yeah. To make plans with this person to come together. But it's shown you signs. You've seen the signs that things are unbalanced. It may give you a little anxiety or you may feel a lot of, a little bit of fear. This could also be something just keeping you up at night. Having a lot of anxiety, fear, worries. It's something I think you're really worried about. You could be worried about letting someone down. But the Seven of Wands, I mean the Seven of Pentacles is here. So there's a reevaluating type of energy. You could be reevaluating your anxiety and realizing that it's not um it's not necessary you could be looking at this looking at um what you what you get like your return on your investment what you're getting for what you've given and i think you could be understanding coming to a place of understanding that you need to move on or that you need to make some changes and make some plans to go in a better direction you can go whichever way you want to you you could be in this place of reevaluating or uh, um like doing inventory of your life, right? That's what the Seven of Pentacles feels like. Like taking inventory of your life, uh, where you've invested your time, energy, effort, or money. That could be giving you a little bit of, like bringing on a little bit of stress, making you feel worried, like you've wasted time. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. All right, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. You're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing things in their entirety. Um, you could be feeling indecisive about something. Feel like you, someone, I think the person that you need to walk away from, let's just say it's a relationship, right? The person you need to walk away from, they adore you. They probably treat you like a queen. They make you feel attractive. They make you feel warm and loving and fuzzy. So you're choosing not to see um, certain things or you're not making a decision about something. Again, there's this factor of loneliness, not wanting to be alone, not wanting to be isolated. Show me the queen of wands. Queen of Wands, please. Oh, too many. Show me Queen of Wands, please. Oh, the Tower in Reverse. So I think the longer you sit in indecision, not seeing things clearly or lying to yourself, being in denial, this could also be a self-imposed isolation, but I don't think that it is because we have the Hermit Reversed. You could be choosing to not communicate with someone or not make a decision about something, but the tower being here in the reverse lets me know that there's there's change and transformation that's being resisted. It could be within this connection or just in general, but it's like the tower wants to come down and you trying to rebuild it while it's falling. Um, that could be why that ten of wands is there, like feeling oppressed, feeling tired, feeling worn out. Um, taking on too many responsibilities because it's not your responsibility to do that this could represent arguments trauma or frustration also distraction but i think it's not it's a lack of communication i think it's it could be arguments like you could be in a fight with someone and like not speaking to each other like that kind of fight let's see if anything else wants to come out anything else for queen of wands yeah, this could definitely be arguments with the five of wands in the reverse. You could be deciding not to speak to someone, not to communicate with them at all. This could be some competition, jealousy. The five of the five of wands reverse could also indicate for me. I think in this particular spread, it could be like cheating, like rivalry or cheating or competition in that way. It's disruption to your plans. You could have personality clashes with other people, or this could just be a lot of jealousy. Could be power plays as well um so you could be choosing to shut down or you could be pretending like you don't see i feel like there's definitely jealousy here especially with the queen of wands this could be you or someone around you keep in mind this could be someone who's not wanting to accept things are ending and they could be creating conflict or competition because they don't want to see things clearly um, you could be the queen of wands. This could be someone else who's jealous of you because you're very attractive. You're exuberant and you have this fire about you. You have this pizzazz about you. Show me the hermit reverse. Starting to feel like some of this energy is so different from the other card. Um, I feel like some of this energy is not your own. Show me the hermit card reverse, please. Hermit reverse, please. Ace of Cups. 
So I do think you want love. I don't think you want to be, excuse me, you don't want to be alone. You're desiring love. Wait, the Ace of Cups twice. The Ace of Wands just showed itself. The Ace of Swords showed itself and the Ace of Pentacles showed itself as well, but they didn't flip out. Anything else for the Hermit Reverse? I definitely think you're on the, you're um, wanting newness. You're wanting newness. Okay, now, I think you feel isolated, more isolated than you, than you want to be. I don't think you have a problem being alone. You may enjoy spending time alone to an extent. You may desire to rest or take a break or vacation of some sort with the Four of Swords being here. And again, I don't think that there's communication, but I think you do desire an opportunity with love. Or, yeah, a new opportunity with love. It can also be the birth or creation of something. Um... But this hermit card reverse, it is Virgo energy. It's like there's something you need to tend to or do that you don't want to do alone. And maybe it's love. Maybe that's it. Maybe you want a family and you, um, you know, you just are tired of being alone with the Four of Swords being here. Maybe you're just deciding not to think about it anymore. Maybe you're resting your mind on the subject. You're not, you know, going to allow it to continue to plague your mind. Or you're not gonna think about it all day the four of swords can also represent just taking some time for yourself um, allowing yourself to recover or recuperate your energy and maybe you need to recover from something but you feel isolated or maybe you're sick and you know you need to recover and you feel you need to be isolated but you don't like the way that feels that could be what this is anything else for the hermit reverse The sun card so I definitely think there's healing taking place um, this could also be clarity on something I think as you spend time alone you get clarity on something um, you get the truth about something maybe and I think this is also confidence because um, the Sun is our ego so I think this is confidence and, and you getting more of your life force energy back so I think you probably are in some type of recovery um, from something I don't know what though it doesn't feel like it's like it doesn't feel like sickness or anything really bad it just feels like um maybe you're calling your energy back to you maybe there was some other situation that was draining you or taken from you um previously and now you are in a place where you can just rest and recuperate and yeah it's like achievement personal power good times happy events friendships joy vitality enthusiasm growth success happiness so i do think this summertime is going to be probably really um uh like you're going to connect with yourself in a new way in the summertime i think this is kind of what this is alluding to there may be a lot of love that comes into your life and i think you're going to be able to do a lot of healing and recuperating and just experience a lot of joy and enthusiasm and confidence in your life um and i don't think like i don't think any of this uh yeah i feel like this other energy that there's somebody who has a lot of anxiety about a relationship that has ended and they could be expecting things to work out still work out you know what i'm saying but it's it's like this person is trying to figure out how to make better investments and how to plan a future elsewhere possibly with you so i feel like this is an external party peeking into your reading so i hope this made sense for you i hope this gives you some clarity or some insight into your situation don't forget to watch your sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs please like subscribe share comment all of that great stuff connect with me on social media below and like i said i hope this reading was helpful i hope it made sense and provides you with clarity on how to move forward um part of me wants to pull a couple for this let me just see how will the angels assist Sagittarians ten of water <sighs> easy ten of cups help you get the family the friendship the long strong family bonds or emotional support that you want that you desire um I think spirit is definitely going to help you bring those people into your life 
the loving connections, the long lasting loving connections, if you're desiring a relationship or long lasting friendships or uh, creative bonds, like bonds that involve a lot of creativity. I think that's what you want, a long lasting love. Like I think that's it. Anything else that the angel will help Sagittarius with? The Empress, abundance, love, creation, creativity, gifts, love. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay. That's your reading, Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, ask the angels for what you need assistance with. And don't be surprised when it comes to you. It may require you to walk away from something. Um, you may be offered some things that don't quite measure up to what you want but the empress came out twice so i definitely think there's a ton of abundance um in your future a lot of love and a lot of balance coming so this was a beautiful reading i hope it made sense to you and i hope it gives you peace of mind thank you for watching until next time peace love and light bye